Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Big Woman Gaming here. Welcome back to episode number 11 of our Zero Overall Dynasty with the Season 5 Off Season. Uh, we're going to be simulating the whole bowl weeks. Uh, obviously, we went 9-5, and five, a very, very good season, being Arkansas, Arkansas State. If you didn't miss the last video, we went over the bowl game as well as our conference championship game. So if you didn't miss that, go watch it uh, before you get to this one. So, yeah. Um, anywho, we're going to go ahead and fast forward to the end of season recap because there's nothing really to do here and now since we already have the bowl game completed and everything we just need to go ahead and get to see who wins the national championship and uh yeah go from there so it looks like georgia wins it all which is very very solid for them uh looks like georgia went all the way too they're one of the last automatic qualifiers as well to make it uh with them nc state kansas state middle tennessee state and boise state a lot of g5 schools making the uh the automatic bids with uh clemson the 11 and 12 seeds going all the way the literally the last two seeds to get in. Sorry, i got the hiccups all of a sudden the last two seeds to get in made it and georgia wins the national title so good for them good for them um and yeah now let's go ahead advance the week um and again and again if you guys did miss out on uh on the players who we have available for this year. I think everyone is pretty much available. Um, so yeah, anyone. So Rousseau is going to try to leave for playing time and he's going to be leaving for playing time. So we're going to need a tight end. Uh, but lemons, Combs, Ferguson, Gammon, Hakeem, Humphreys, Rousseau, McCaffrey, Godwin, Kenny Clifford's leaving. That's going to suck. Cause he had a very, very good year this year. McMillan, Lauer, uh, a lot of, To'o, To'o is leaving us, so our quarterback from last season is going to be leaving, and a lot of other low overall guys are leaving us. So, all in all, nothing too shabby other than a couple high or a couple mid 80s leaving us. Uh, and yeah, so again, if you guys did miss out on any players, just let, write a comment down below, name uh, and whoever you want to take over. I believe everyone is available uh, right now. Um, I think the only one that is like a star is the right tackle. So, you want someone in this dynasty? Uh, write a comment down below. We'll get you added. Um, I think we do have one for sure, and it is a uh, free safety. But he didn't play this year. He was a little bit lower, so he will be playing next year. Um, we do have a wide receiver, and we're going to try to get this corner um, available. We also got. Let's see what else we got. We got a left outside linebacker. Nice solid free safety. I'm trying to see if there's a tight end or not. Is there any tight ends in the transfer portal that want to come to school? There is not. Okay. I guess we can add a couple three stars, like this guard in this corner and this right tackle. That would be kind of nice. Other than that, I think we're good. I think I backed out all the way again. I'm an idiot. It's fine. Did we get anyone drafted? No. We did not get anybody drafted. Um... What was the top classes wise? I don't think we're going to be in the top bunch. We're actually ranked 28th. We got the 28th best class. Uh, but again, as it shows on screen here, we need to get this class to even get any of the challenges done. Uh, so we do have three challenges to be done. We got to win a couple natties. And yeah, so that is the thing. I think I'm just messing up even more now. There we go. I don't even know what I was trying to do. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and give these guys all scholarships and all of the points. Because we have no one else really to go after. And we're going to try to get these uh, four stars especially. So we don't know exactly what their special thing is. We're going to go ahead and... What is he? Playing style? That's perfect because A+. plus. Where's playing style? There's playing style. Bang, he'll be here for playing style. This guy's top eight. We can't schedule the visit just yet, so again, we'll just give him the points. I don't know why the menus are still taking forever, um, but I feel like the update still hasn't worked correctly, so that's unfortunate. But anywho, we're going to try to keep going. I know it's going to take a lot longer than normal. There's a 75 that we can do. Bang. So it looks like offensive line, we can do a lot of the 75s, but everyone else is just going to have to get 65 points. And last but not least, this right tackle, who is a junior. So we do probably have a very good chance of getting this guy, even though he, he's in his top five already. What do you want? You want playing style as well, so bang. So we already know that. And we got 10 points to spare, so 
Anyways, we're not going to go after anybody else, so let's see if we can get these uh, recruits-wise. For here, we're number one on a lot of people. That's good to see. Not on the four stars, though. I didn't see the four stars. We're number one on Maven. And on the... Nice. So we got both of them. So honestly, here... Playing style. It looks like a lot of these guys are playing style. Yep, playing style. And we'll get one more here. For proximity to home. And honestly, I really don't think we need to hard sell anything. I think we're, we should get these guys, to be honest with you. We just got hurt. So one of the left guards commits. So now we're in week three of four. Is there anyone I don't have... I don't have spears on a visit, which honestly might get them. We need playing style. Maven should commit this week. Stork, uh, Boger? I think that's how you say his name. And Joe Smith will be a tough one because Missouri's right there. But I think we should get him. Then again, Missouri, I think, is highly rated than us, so we might not get him, which is the unfortunate thing. We do get Stacy. We do get Joe Smith. That's the big one. We do get Lorenzo. And we get Stork. And we get Spears. And Maven. So we signed every transfer that we were going after. So, yeah. I'll take that all day. Where's that person now in the top classes? It's not going to be in the top five. It's going to be 29th. Overall, in recruits, we're ranked 41st. In transfers, we are a number one transfers with seven. I like that. Too bad it's not going to count, though. Um... All in all. Unfortunately. But yeah, we rank up to level 18. So we got some more stuff to do. But of course, I don't think these guys are available for transfers. Besides the freshmen. I think the freshmen are available to change. Um, I think it was Stacy. Stacy was the last one. He's a normal. All the, We do have a star in Bode and Lorenzo. So I need to take a look. I think Hurt... Lorenzo and Stacy are available to be. I can like change their names. So if you guys again want those guys, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, but yeah, so now we'll go into my favorite part is position changes. Let's see. We actually have a very solid team. Uh, Nelson Morton is a defensive line. He could play linebacker for us, but I think you know what? I'm gonna put him at left outside linebacker. He actually goes up four overall. We do have a couple high, like mid to low 80s. This team might even be better than last year. Uh, Rick Skaggs is actually a very good right outside linebacker. So that is very, very solid. Um, Michaels is going to be our starter next year, I think. 72 overall. Hopefully he's good. Um, hopefully we get some more speed at the halfback position because we desperately need it. So, anyways, we have a lot of new wide receivers. So, let's go ahead, advance the week, past National Signing Day. Um, did we just level up again? We did just level up again. Training results. One of my my second favorite, obviously. We do have a 91 now left guard of uh, Glenn Abreu. He is a senior, though. We go up to an 83 with an 85 offense, 82 defense, which is not terrible. Michaels only goes up to a 74 with Chase behind him at a 71. We just need a better running or some better running backs at, with speed and some better quarterbacks. Uh, Lyles though, seventy-seven. That's an eighty-seven. It's not too bad um, with eighty-seven speed. Sorry, Gentry and O'Malley are going to be our two-headed monster in the backfield, just like normal. Uh, wide receiver, both of them are sixties. I don't think these guys make the team to be honest. Uh, decent tight ends with Peacock and Yoon, along with Newson. Wagoneers probably not going to play. Uh, where's my free safety that I had? We're just looking at other stuff as well. A couple mid-80s for our D-line. Decent linebackers as well. 78's our best guy with bugs as our best corner. We desperately need some speed at corner besides Shakir and Schaefering because they're the only ones with 90 speed. Yeah, there he is. Uh, Mihoff. This is now a 69. This is one of the guys that are unavailable, so we have him. As one of the guys that we added to this team. With uh, Costello being a 77. Um, I could move Mihoff to a strong safety. He would play next year. That's what I might do. Um, 
so he can get some playing time because he's going to be caught behind Costello. But yeah, um, I think we're going to continue upgrading. I really don't need starting interest. I might just continue focusing motivator, getting the offseason boost, and then same thing with wide receivers. There we go. I thought I had more and I didn't. But yeah, so that's that. We can now try to get talent developer, but I'm only thinking I'm going to go focus on program builder um, once we win the five playoff games so we can uh, start getting better pipelines. I think that's what we're going to do. Like These two with pipelines will be amazing. So that's the, that's the plan once we win our five playoff games and start upgrading that because right, we're only level 19. I don't. I won't really need elite recruiter. <clears throat> like, it's just the pipeline bonuses, and that's it. Um, plus, we could sign someone here. Like, he could get Elite Recruiter, but I don't think he will. Um, or maybe, like, Carter Clemens leaves us next year, and we get someone with, like, Elite Recruiter. I don't know. Something like that might happen, but... Anywho, advance of the week. Um, past 2028 and on to 2029, I believe. Um, yeah, encourage transfers. Do we need to encourage anyone to transfer? We do. So let's take a look. Quarterback, we only have three, so we're going to keep the three. Halfbacks are okay for now, although Aldrich might be the odd man out, but he's a senior. He's going to be leaving us anyways after this year. Um, tied in, I think Wagoneer is going to go. He's at 55 overall, unfortunately. Left tackles are there. Left guards, I think Albert's going to be leaving us. Yeah, he's a 74. We're going to go ahead and get rid of him. Anybody else that can go? We got a right guard of Curl. He's an 80 overall. It's not bad, but yeah, he can go. We have an 86 now there. That's going to take up most of the time. Mabin. I'm going to right tackle. I think he was the uh, the transfer. I believe. I could be wrong. I probably am, but it is what it is. We don't really have much depth at D-line, but Huntley's going to go. He's a 73 left outside linebacker. I missed middle linebacker. I think we're good there, though. Right outside, we have a lot of right outside linebackers now. So we should be good there, I think. Man, we desperately need speed because these guys have no speed whatsoever. Free safety, I think Khalil's going to go. I know he's a freshman, but he's going to go. Um, honestly, we could cut Mingo. And go Fredrickson. Do I though? Do I? What? What? What's their kick powers? That's hit power. Where's kick power? Is kick power here? I mean, a little bit lower accuracy, and a little bit lower. Yeah, that's fine. Man, this guy's terrible kick power, but good accuracy. This guy's a senior. I'm gonna just gonna encourage him to leave, and I think we need to go one more. I think it might be our right end, even though we don't have much depth there, and that's what I think we're going to be focusing on uh, in this next recruiting class is D-line because we desperately need it. We don't have much there. So, yeah, that's going to be the next thing that we're going to focus is doing that. We're not going to touch conferences just yet. We have to go undefeated in the MAC while also winning the, uh, the conference championship to even move out of the MAC into the Big Ten because I think that makes the most sense. Um, I will sub the recruiting board and everything off camera. Uh, but of course, if you guys want us to play anybody, I'm okay with it. Write a comment down below. Who do you guys want us to face, uh, going into next year? Uh, right now, obviously we have FCS, New Mexico, Southern Miss, <coughs> and Nebraska, sorry. And then our MAC, uh, the MAC action with Ohio, Kitt State, Eastern Michigan, Akron, Buffalo, Western Michigan, Toledo, and Miami of Ohio. It looks like they did ch fix the, uh, looks like we have four games at home and away for, uh, for conference play. I think they did fix that finally. Cause I know one time, I think we had like six home games in conference play. It made no sense. Um, and we have two home games against FCS and Southern Miss and away at New Mexico state and Nebraska. So all in all, uh, if you guys want us to play someone else, let, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, who you want to take out of the lineup and put into the schedule. So all in all, that's going to end the video. If you guys did miss any of the other episodes, that should be in a playlist 
showing up here in just a second or right now you never know um and yeah if you guys are new hit that subscribe button we're on the road for 500 if we get 500 by the end of the year i'll do a 24-hour stream right here on youtube so we'll stream 24 hours playing madden or not madden <laughs> definitely not madden uh playing some god football uh building up a ton of different programs uh maybe playing some seasons uh all in all we'll find out when we get there so anywho i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'm out peace